match of my Welcome favorite. Welcome to LT Outdoors. All the teeth. They look a lot like a channel like I said, with everything the outdoor world has fish. to offer. Okay. <laughs> Ready? I'm going to shut my light off. <laughs> this is a beauty. Sun is coming up, Bob is going down. Fish are all about, jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. Oh, that's a nice one, sis. LT Outdoors. Might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting. Might even do a little fortune, too. I'm talking. Or sweet tooth. LT Outdoors. Oh, yeah, baby. I hope you enjoy the show. Oh, that's so cool. Special shout out to all my patrons and everybody who donates to this channel. If you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com, look up LT Outdoors. Every month I'll be doing a drawing giveaway for everybody who donates to this channel. No matter how you donate, you'll be added to the list. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. I apologize for the infrequency of the videos lately. Uh, it's just been a slow season so far. Usually I'm on the ice by now. The ice keeps getting screwed up between warm-ups and snowstorms. So it's just been hectic. But I have been out doing a little bit of trapping. That's even getting screwed up by snowstorms. So uh, I did have to pull my weasel boxes before I even got anything. But I show you in here how the weasel boxes work. Uh, easy way to make them out of uh, ammo boxes and um, yeah I show you a little bit of beaver trapping and stuff so yep just wanted to throw a quick little video together for you guys before the Christmas season I hope you guys have a great Christmas and I'll be on again Sunday so Merry Christmas everybody hope you enjoy all right I'm on this pond here I'm trying to catch a beaver the beaver is living over there um, actually those are all his bubbles that's his bubble trails and that's his food pile is where all those bubbles are piled up at. But I want to show you guys where all these smaller bubbles are that kind of just come out and go right back in. Those are muskrats. You can usually decipher a muskrat bubble trail from a beaver bubble trail by how small the bubbles are and by how little they travel. Um, this is a muskrat hole right here, though. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have another one. I had one yesterday. And I wasn't filming because the owner was down here with me wanting to chat. And I was teaching her about it. So I don't know. I don't know how many rats are going to be in this hole. But I did replace the trap. Nope. Nothing in it today. I caught one there yesterday though. And it very well could be the only rat in that hole. But I am going to reset this trap, though, and let it go for another day. Let's check the beaver sets. I don't know if we got them just because that open water there means the beaver's keeping it open. But we'll go see what it looks like. All right, hopefully I'm not jinxing myself here. But I think I, got, I finally got this beaver, I think. I've been after this beaver for... It's been a few weeks, and he just kept winning. He kept winning, he kept winning. It's only been one beaver, and he's been trap shy. So I'm curious to see how big he is. Um, I'm going to show you right now. I came here today, and my trap chain was tight. Like I said, it's great that Bass Brothers uh, recommended they put these chains around their traps, their conibears, so you can chain them off. And uh, it's nice, because then, obviously, the, the beaver can run off and get away from the den and drown and stuff. So... Yeah, let's see what we got though guys i'm pretty pumped all right this is what i showed up to now i know for a fact that when i set this trap it wasn't tight i know that it wasn't tight so i've got a feeling Yeah, baby. <laughs> Barely caught him, too, by the tail. Oh, that was luck. <laughs> That's not a bad-sized beaver, either. Probably just a two-year-old. Smaller than what I'd assumed was in here, but... Um, I really think it's the only beaver. There's only been... I've been following these bubble trails, and there's only been one bubble trail. Not to mention I've had all these traps out and haven't caught anything. If there was a pile of beavers in here, I would have at least caught one. So... God, that's awesome. 
Finally got them, guys. Well, I can tell right now I don't have any anything in the box, but these are weasel tracks. So that's a good sign because there's definitely... I figured there'd be weasels back here because there's a lot of... Just a lot of stuff laying around. I might just move the box a little bit. Surprised they haven't messed with it, but... Yeah, meat's still in there, hasn't been touched, so I'm just gonna move the move the box. Maybe I'll just set it. Oh, I see he walked across right here. So I'm just gonna set it there. And uh we'll see if we get them there. Alright. These are weasel tracks. They're uh dusted over a little bit with snow from the wind, but you can see where they were coming and going out of that little pipe right there. So I am going to be putting a trap right there in the snow. I come up to check out this big log pile. Um, brush piles and stuff like this are always a great spot to look for weasel tracks because they have a lot of a lot of enemies. They got a lot of predators that go out after them. So they really need places to hide. So you got to find the heaviest structure that you can. That's why a lot of times I set in the uh, culverts. They use those for travel because they got safety in there. They've got a tunnel. Um, I'm seeing a lot more tracks through here. There might be several weasels. I'm seeing some tracks on that log. I mean, this is a pretty big log pile, so I wouldn't doubt if, uh, if there's a bunch in here. I wanted to wait to set this until we got some snow so I could get a clear yeah, these are weasel tracks. I wanted to get a clear view of them hopping around before I just go setting blindly. It's always nice to have some snow to check. So, yeah, good enough. Setting some weasel boxes here. Probably put three or so around this pile. We'll have some weasels. Well, these tracks are always fun to see, and they'll throw you off. Uh, these are mouse tracks. <laughs> they'll be pretty much just a tunnel going all over the place you can see he kind of went in a hole right there but yeah these are uh, little mouse tracks going all over the place they're not big enough to jump in the snow so they usually just kind of tunnel around all right these are my new and improved mink boxes guys uh, my buddy Matt sent me a bunch of these I mentioned them in the video recently I learned this from a um, video that I seen of this lady using these and she did really good I wish I I need to remember her name and I'll bring it up because she deserves Deserves to be known. It was a great idea, but uh, yeah, these are you know waterproof, water sealed, um, so they're they're going to be great, great traps. Plus, with these being tighter when they're sealed, it's going to emit more smell through the hole. So you put your scent in there, and it should come out a lot more. But yeah, the trap fits perfect. It doesn't leave any space, any wiggle room. That that weasel steps in there, he's going to be on the trap no matter what. So less misses. Uh, today, all I did was throw some uh, Bass Brothers Stinky Minky in there and uh, some of their kick-ass Predator bait. So, yeah, I'm going to try it. I got four boxes right now that I'm going to put around this old barn. I got one I'm going to put on this little uh, animal trail here. And we'll see what we catch. Then I'm going to move on down the road, see what else we find. I want to show you when the trap is set. Look at that. Your trap trigger should be just like that, to where the animal steps on it, like it's just a step. It's nothing more than a step. They're going to step on that, and it's just going to nail them. Right. Now, two of them, I already walked you up here by this brush pile. I wanted to put one in this tube, because I know they're going in and out of these tubes. I put one there, one there. I'm going to leave the brush pile free. The nice thing about putting stuff in tubes is that no matter how much snow we get, at least I can find my traps. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to walk up there to the barn. I think I'll have a spot I can put this fourth one. I have a feeling I'm going to catch that. I don't know if you guys seen it. It was probably too fast. <laughs> There's a shrew running around. He came out first over there. And then he just went through there. He's probably got holes all over this place. But um, they are the predator of the mouse world. <laughs> so they will definitely end up in my trap. I usually catch a lot of them. 
but that's okay. It just adds for fresh meat for the weasels. All right, there's a little trail. Got filled in with snow, but it's coming out of the side of that barn. And quite honestly, from the spacing of those tracks, I would say that's a weasel. So, and it's a perfect location. Going into that cement, all these rocks, I'm gonna set the dang trap right here on top of the rocks. This looks like a perfect weasel spot. All right, going down that little trail right here. I'm pretty sure it's a weasel trail. Box right there, all set. Hole right there. Yeah, I think we're gonna get something. All right, these tracks are a little messed up down here from the blowing snow, but look at these. <laughs> Those are fresh. So there's definitely, yeah, there's another one. There's a weasel in this brush pile, which is good. Like I said, you gotta check out these piles. If you see a big old brush pile in the woods, chances are you're gonna find some weasel tracks. So I'm gonna continue checking some spots. So I wanna walk around. I know there's a junk pile back here. There might be some around there, but I know for sure I'm gonna bring a box right here. See all the rest of the tracks kinda got messed up, but it's kinda cool. You can see where a, a coyote decided to jump on this log here to cross the river. Now the cool thing about coyotes is they usually use the same kind of paths. They've got their own little travel spots. So um, I'm waiting until January 1st. That's when our snare season, non-lethal snares, open up. Once it does, I'm going to be walking around looking for tight, you know, little pinch points. Like right now, I can see where he goes between some trees. I can put a snare. So, yeah, it should be a fun season. Don't miss out on the whole line of LT Outdoors ice fishing lures. Increase your ice fishing experience. Also, check out the Panty Pounder. Email me for more info. This season of LT Outdoors is brought to you by Bass Brothers Lures and Baits. All their lures and baits get the job done. Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda, Michigan. By the bridge in Oscoda, they carry a nice line of LT merch. Mountable Memories Taxidermy. Mounts that'll last a lifetime. Wish you wouldn't look at me like that, Napoleon. I wish you'd get out of my life and shut up.